Okay, the directions tell us to find the next three terms in each sequence. So th this one's pretty straightforward. Think about if this were on a number line. If you're going from negative 18 to negative 22 to negative 26, well, each time... You're subtracting 4. From here to here, you subtract 4. So we just have to keep subtracting 4. So negative 34 subtract 4 would be negative 38. Subtract 4 would be negative 42. Subtract 4 would be negative 46. And those would be the three next terms. Let's look at this one. I'm, gonna, I'm going to focus my attention starting here because those are easier from 45 to 25 that was a subtract 20 25 to 5 that was a subtract 20 so if we're going if we're going in the other direction that's an add 20 so let's see if that holds true from negative 15 Well, this is a distance of 15. This is a distance of 5. So that's also add 20. This is add 20. So 20 plus 45, we're going to be at 65. Plus 20, we're going to be at 85. And then 105. <coughs> Those are the next three terms. Now, this is a little bit interesting. If we did repeated subtraction, it's really obvious that this subtract this will not be the same as this subtract this. Okay, so we don't have to worry about subtraction. Uh, and division. So 101 divide 11 and 1001 divide 101, and I'll check that out. So 101 divide 11 is 9.18, and then it repeats. So let's try 1001 divide 101. All right, so no common ratio. All right. Ah, what pattern do I notice? There is no zero, there is one zero, there's two zeros, there's three zeros, there's four zeros. All right, so our next three, this would be five zeros. Oops, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'd have to do six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then finally, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So sequences won't always be arithmetic or geometric. Sometimes they'll just be some weird se sequence. So let's look at this one. We did repeated subtraction. 120 subtract 24, very different than 2 subtract 1. So we don't have to worry about an arithmetic sequence. If we did 2 divide 1, 6 divide 2, well, those are not the same. But let me see. Oh, first of all, 6 divide 2 is 3. Sure, some of you were yelling at the screen. Ah, look at that. I think we have a pattern. So each time we're going to multiply the next number by the. So we're multiplying by increasing values. So now we would do 120, multiply that by 6. And that would give us 720. 
we would multiply this by 720 times 7, which would give us 5,040. And then we'd multiply 5,040 times 8, and that would give us 40,320. Okay, that's it for finding the next three terms in a sequence.